Good morning, this is BBC One, and it's breakfast time. Hello, it's breakfast time. 6.30 is the time. It's Wednesday the 25th of January today. Very good morning to you. Now, the blizzards which swept much of the country over the past few days actually relented overnight to be replaced by freezing conditions almost everywhere. On breakfast time this morning, some hints for the elderly and housebound on fighting off the cold and keeping fit. And we'll be answering your questions on keeping warm for winter. And don't forget that on each quarter hour, uh, there's our service of local news and traffic information with the latest on the roads. I had an encounter with the M4 this morning. I hope my wife's not up. What do you mean an encounter? Well, uh, there was nobody about, but I hit a patch of ice and I spent 200 yards trying to decide whether the car was going into the central reservation or the ditch. Oh, heavens. Hence, I was not... 10 minutes late. Is your car all right? I mean, you're obviously all right, yes. thank goodness. No, and it didn't touch anything, but it was a scary moment. It's shaky. Yeah. Yeah, well, please, you got away from that. Of course, no, no cars on the road at that time in no. the morning. So, so I'm a fool, really, so do take care, won't you? Good anyway, morning. good morning. Good That's morning, all yes. Behind us now. A shock for the morning. Good morning. And for Scots around the world, January the 25th means Burns Night. That's a celebration of the Scottish bard, Robbie Burns. And the Secretary of State for Scotland will be with us to review the papers. He's MP for Air 2. By contrast, our guest this morning is the archetypal Englishman, actor Dinsdale Landon. <laughs> Very welcome. Good Hello. Morning. But first, here's Debbie Ricks with the latest news headlines. Good morning. In Washington, the Soviet leaders call for the United States to make the first move towards resuming arms talks hasn't been given much attention so far. Mr. Andropov pledged that Moscow would respond if President Reagan made moves to ease tensions between the superpowers. But there's no indication that Washington thinks the Soviet Union is offering anything new. Mr. Reagan on Capitol Hill has been setting a conciliatory tone in his speeches, although no one seems to be expecting a resumption of the Geneva talks on medium-range missiles in Europe. As blizzards continue in Scotland, it's now feared that the two missing army climbers are dead. The search for them resumes in the Cairngorms today. In Inverness, helicopter food drops are being organised for families in the Northern Highlands. They've been cut off for the past ten days. Britain and China resume talks today on the future of Hong Kong. Although some major differences remain, Chinese negotiators have said a solution acceptable to both sides now seems likely. General Alfredo Astiz, the Argentine naval officer who captured South Georgia from Britain, is facing prosecution for alleged torture and murder. Astiz, who surrendered to the Royal Navy two years ago, is said to have headed one of the worst military murder gangs in the 1970s. Argentina's infamous naval mechanic school was the torture camp alleged to have been used by Estes, and human rights groups have accused him of being responsible for the death of 17-year-old Swedish girl Dagmar Hagelin.